Hi, uh, greetings, Phil Hoovians. <coughs> Hoovian Queen here. Hope I'm having a good week so far. Well, our look at the 12th Doctor Eric now continues on with, in my opinion, one of the saddest episodes of his era, Face the Raven. Rixie contacts the 12th Doctor and Clara for help. He shows them a number tattoo on his neck, counting down, with no memory of how he got it nor events of the last day. <coughs> they trace his movements to Trap Street in present day London, the house's extraterrestrial refugees. Using telepathic alien worms to appear as human to the Doctor, Clara, and Rigsy. Me, the immortal mayor of the Trap Street, explained that she sentenced Rigsy to death after he was accused of murdering Anna, a two faced Janice. They gave him a chrono lock, a tattoo which counts down with each passing minute. When it reaches zero, a quantum shade, a being that takes the form of a raven, is summoned to kill him. However, they also give him Rigsy an, amne Rigsy an amnesia drug to forget the Trap Street's existence. Mia allows the Doctor and Clara to prove Rigsy's innocence. Clara says the Chrono Lock can be transferred to another willingly. Believing Mia will not let her die, Clara takes Rigsy's Chrono Lock without the Doctor's knowledge to buy them more time. The trio meet Anna's psychic daughter, Anasin, and learn that Mia used Rigsy to bring the Doctor to Trap Street and that Mia is afraid of someone Anasin cannot, cannot identify. The doctor realizes from medical data in stasis pod Anna is stored Anna is stored inside that Anna is alive, and then Mi wants Anna to be released with the TARDIS key. However, the device clamps the metal ring around his wrist and takes the TARDIS key from him. The bent and teleportation device to send the doctor far away to keep the street safe from, pe from the people Mi made a deal with. Mi demands the doctor's confession dial. Mi then goes to remove the chronic from Briggs, the only discovered Clara had taken it. Clara broke the contract Mi had made with the Shade, and she cannot undo it. The doctor becomes angry and threatens Mi, demanding that she save Clara, but Clara calms him down, asking him not to be upset nor avenge her death. Clara says her goodbyes, and then steps in straight to face the Shade before it kills her. Back in the house, the doctor warns Mi to keep away from him in the future. <clears throat> Mi then activates the band, sending the doctor away. So let's take a look at some continuity surrounding this episode. The Doctor once again consults his response cards, first seen under the lake, in an effort to be nice, before breaking the news to Rigsy of his impending death. Rigsy is injected with Redcon, a substance introduced in the Doctor Who's spin-off Torchwood, to cause those that take it to lose their memory of meeting members of Torchwood and having alien encounters. Among this guy's aliens living in the Trap Street are a Centauran, a Jadoon, an Ice Warrior, and an Ood caring for, caring for a Cyberman. Me asks the doctor for his confession dial, first seeing the magician's apprentice and retrieved by the doctor and the witch's familiar. Clara mentions her deceased lover Danny Pink, saying that if he could face death, then so can she. As Clara entreats the doctor not to take revenge on his shielder, she tells him, don't be a warrior, be a doctor. This is the same plea she made the 11th doctor when he planned to destroy Gallifrey to end the time war in the day of the doctor. And now let's take a look at some outside references. Clara mentions having a romantic relationship with writer Jane Austen. In The Magician's Apprentice, she even calls her a great kisser. Earlier in The Caretaker, the doctor speaks with Clara, Doctor speaks to Clara about when Austen wrote Pride and Prejudice. As they prepare to investigate, Clara suggests that she and the doctor play the good cop, bad cop interrogation method with her as the good cop. When the doctor asks why he can't play good cop, Clara says that his face won't allow him. And now let's find. And now let's take a look at some production. Note. Let's take a look at some production notes about this episode. Through through for this episode was on May twenty eighth, twenty fifteen, and filming ran from June twenty from June eighth to June twenty fifth. And now finally, let's take a look at some cast notes. Jovi and Wade originally appeared as Rixie in Flatline in series eight. Macy Owens featured as a shielder slash me and the girl who died and the woman who lived. Robin Stones appeared as Lubick in The Keeper of Trocken in Season 18. Simon Paisley Day made an appearance in The, in the End of the World from Series 1. So yeah, like I said, this to me is definitely one of the, sat, is one of the saddest episodes of the Twelve Doctor era, and it is just gut-wrenching. And considering the fact that Clara is, is, one of, is one of my favorite companions, yeah, I was actually pretty upset when I watched this episode for the very first time, so yeah. So overall, I give Face the Raven 5 Sonic Screwdrivers out of 5. 
And tune in next time as we take a look at Heaven Sent. Well, I hope you enjoyed this review. And if you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, share it around. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified about my upload videos. And if I help support the channel further, then be sure to check out my Patreon page. Link is always in the description below. Anyway, until next time, this is Who Being Queen saying, Oh my giddy aunt! When I say run, run! I'm going to play with the neutron flow. Would you like a jelly baby? Fantastic! Allons y Geronimo! Bow ties are cool, fezzes are cool, and Stetsons are cool. <laughs>